Well, summer, it is a peak time for students to take driver's ed. So this morning, we're giving families a head start and making sure their loved ones are prepared to hit the road safely. Here now with more rules on the road and tips for parents and family members is Benny Malberg. He's the owner of Official Driving School. Benny, thanks for joining us. Oh, thanks for having me. Of course. So first, tell us a little bit about Official Driving School. How many locations do you have? Uh, we have over 60 locations and we're across Michigan from Detroit to Grand Rapids to Saginaw, down to Monroe. So we're kind of all over the place. We do over uh, 20,000 students a year between our segment one and two students. So we're putting a lot of new drivers on the road. Absolutely. And speaking of putting new drivers on the road, I have to ask, with gas prices surging, we just hit another record, unfortunately. Are you seeing the impacts of that? Are you seeing less students enroll or perhaps postpone? You know, we've actually seen less students every year for the past, like, 20 years. So we've been around, this company has been around for over 40 years. And uh, I think there's a move for parents to wait until their kids are 18, 19, 20. You might even know some parents like that, that wait until their kids are an older age to get their license. And actually the problem with that is that they're skipping the formalized driver education experience, right? Mm -hmm. So there's a lot of things that they miss, like, you know, how to drive in the winter and what to do in emergency situations that you don't get when you wait until you're older. And you don't have to take driver ed at that point. You just go take the road test. And even though you can parallel park, doesn't mean that you're really ready for the road. So, uh, yeah, no, there is. I don't. We haven't seen a de decline this year. Our classes are are definitely full uh, for June. It's filling up fast in the summertime, just like always. But over the years, there has been a steady decrease in in parents delaying that process. And that you made a really important point there, Benny, that I didn't even think about. When you take it, you know, when you're 15, 16 years old, there there is that formalized class as opposed to just the road test, which, you know, I didn't stop to think about. Absolutely. And, and that keeps teens safer. Uh, you know, we know it. The states know it. The insurance companies know it. That's why your insurance company gives you a discount when you take a driver ag course, because you're going to be a safer driver. So when should kids start thinking, preparing to take drivers? That obviously 16 is the number that we all circled on our calendar to get our license. <laughs> but when should you start having that conversation with your teenagers about learning how to drive? Well, they can start segment one at 14 and eight months. And every time I say that, people are like, that's like, that's like really uh, <laughs> small, but it, that hasn't changed at all. That's how it was. I started when I was 14 and eight months. Uh, that part it hasn't changed. So, uh, you know, th they can start as early as that. But I, I say you should start that process sooner. You know, when they're when they're turning 13, when they're turning 14, before they even get into the class, you should start bringing them into that conversation and really start thinking about your driving because you want to be a really good example uh, for your teenager. They're going to pick up on a lot of your habits. So if you're drinking a coffee, eating a croissant and driving with your knee, that's a bad example, right? right. So we want to start being a good example. That means like pointing out things while you're on the road, um, you know, pointing out walkers, pointing out situations, pointing out things that you're noticing as a driver. And you're actually drawing their attention to these things, which is going to make them a better driver as well. And, and a lot I, of I those... Parents, a lot of those bad habits that you mentioned, Benny, I think most of us have been guilty from from time to time. But when you have a young person in the back, it's more important than ever to model those those good behaviors for sure. We only have a couple seconds left. But before yeah. I let you go, Benny, where can our viewers go for more information on official driving school? And if they want, want to sign up, where can they check for all your locations in Metro Detroit? Yeah, officialdrivingschool.com. You can sign up online right there. Benny Malberg, owner of Official Driving School, thank you so much for being here. We appreciate your time this morning. Yeah, thank you.